Morning everyone. Today we have come to Rosewall Hill, which is, uh, well there's a bit of information about it there for you. Um, not sure how long this walk's going to be, but we'll walk up the hill. And um, so this is on the on the, the road to Zenner from the top of St Ives. Um, it's quite a little bit of mist floating around. So we've driven away from the sun and into the mist. <laughs> but um, yeah, we'll see where it takes us. As you can see, it's quite misty up here and quite blowy. Hopefully you can hear me. We have walked just under a mile. Um, going up the hill wasn't too bad, actually. Uh, we've come through the fields and we've met a lane, believe it or not. Some lovely little horses, ponies. Some of them are dressed up for winter. I can feel the sun trying to break through actually, but um, as you can see, footpath to go where we just come from. We're gonna go down this lane. H thinks she knows where we are. So um, what could go wrong? So we come over the over the sty there and we joint the lane and we turn right and then H was right. She did know where we were. So we've just walked down. Um, we're on sort of Twedneck now. So we're going right. Hopefully we'll find a footpath that takes us back over the hill. You know, that hill there that you can't see. Um, but we've seen some calves and we've seen some sheep. And we've seen some ponies and horses and uh, we're getting our steps in. It's quite warm actually today, even though it's, uh, even though it's, um, A bit misty and it doesn't look like it's very warm when you're walking it is warm anyway there you go well, we come to the end of that lane now and it joins the uh, Zena road which is where we were parked as you can see St. Ives to the right St. Justin Pendine to the left and Zenner. Um we did we did walk past what we thought was an entry to uh, Buttermilk Hill, which is there. Um, we were gonna walk back to that, but it looks like we're gonna carry on walking across, across the road and uh, wherever this takes us. I'm not sure it's a public footpath, but there you go. Let's have a look. That wasn't the way to go. That is uh, just leads to a field. I'm sure you can, you can roam, but uh, I'm not sure it will uh, get you where you wanna go. So we're heading back towards Twednack Bay. So this is basically the way we came um, and we're going to go th over Buttermilk Hill, which is just on our left. You can't really see because of the mist and uh, yeah, we'll see where that takes us. I'm not sure if you can hear me now, uh, but we should be looking at a lovely view. We're almost at the top of the hill. But the mist, unfortunately, is hanging around. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> we've gone kind of wild walking, really. There's no uh, set foot path up here. We just uh, tried to find our own way. So it's not something I would say to you, oh yeah, come and do, oh, you know, for a nice leisurely, stro leisurely stroll, because it's not. But um, I'm sure when the sun is shining, it's beautiful up here. The views are amazing. Unfortunately today, all we can see is the, the granite rock. So amazingly, we've come down there and uh, we've gone around in one big circle. As you can see, that's the gate we went through earlier. So just down here uh, will be where we started, um, where you saw the sign the first clip so um, we've only done two and a half miles uh, it's taken us an hour normally we'll do three uh, three miles to an hour so um, about 20 minutes a mile so uh, we uh, are going to carry on a little bit maybe go across the road but this is a very refreshing walk and I say if you turn right there instead of going straight on as we did on your initial climb You'll come up, there's a bench up there. So clearly on a clear day, the views are amazing. 
you can't really see anything today. I can probably see a little bit more than you can see on the on the camera. But um still a nice a nice inland walk and as I say I'm sure you can see lots more on a clear day. We are gonna come and do it again and we're gonna go right the other way. So turn right there, go up the top and uh yeah do it backwards just to see if it's any different what well, it would be. So we're back at the bottom now, so we finished the walk. As I said, just over two and a half miles. Um, a bit tricky, I suppose, I'd, I'd say. Certainly wasn't a stroll, but um, yeah, made a nice change. Lovely, and, I, and we are gonna do it again, just to see uh, see the views, hopefully on a sunny day. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.